Hello, good morning. So you didn't realize that this is the part of the day when we all together sing the Caltech alma mater. Are you ready? In Southern, no, okay, never mind. Um, I just wanna say hello, welcome, and a special welcome to all of our Caltech alumni and honored guests. On behalf of the Caltech Alumni Association, I would like to welcome you to the 82nd Annual Seminar Day and presentation of the Distinguished Alumni Awards. I'm Chris Bryant, President of the Alumni Association, member of the class of 1995. Uh, before I begin, though, I would like to welcome and recognize one very special guest, Paul Faust, a member of the class of 1941, is here with us today. He celebrated his 100th birthday last month. I'd like to say thank you to Paul for returning to be with us this weekend, and I think everyone would like to join me in welcoming Paul. I'd also like to quickly recognize the other members of the classes of the 1940s, all of them celebrating their 70th or greater reunion. Ernest Wade, Raymond Palmer, James Burke, John Tabor, Robert Brown, Bernard Steenson, Bloke Carew, Roy Gold, Don Hibbard, Fred Schneider, William Simons, and Rolf Sinclair. Thank you all for coming back to campus and spending the weekend with us. <clears throat> All right. Next, if I may, let me start by quoting our president, Thomas Rosenbaum, who reminds us that science has no end date. There are infinite possibilities to pursue. Only at a place like Caltech, as part of a tradition like this one, Seminar Day, can we all immerse ourselves in a day of learning about a diverse cross-section of some of those infinite possibilities, so many of which are currently being researched and investigated on this magnificent campus. The tradition of Seminar Day is all about giving you, Caltech alumni and members of the Caltech family, access to cutting-edge research from Caltech's six academic divisions, its interdisciplinary research centers and institutes, and also JPL. From the macroscopic, the ocean, the sky, space, exoplanets, and extrasolar worlds, to the microscopic, single cell biology, cold molecules, and isotope ratios, to the purely algorithmic and mathematical, predictions, artificial intelligence, big data, we have it all covered here in one day. And these are just some of the myriad possibilities being researched at Caltech. Yes, that's, you can applaud, absolutely. <laughs> and then there is you our alumni and family, and the infinite possibilities you have pursued and are pursuing in your lives and in your careers. Caltech is the place that unlocked many of those possibilities for us. It gave us the foundation, the tools, the sense of analysis and reason, the confidence and capability to be able to pursue our own possibilities. And those possibilities, combined together is a big reason why we, our Alumni Association, with considerable help and support from Caltech, have changed our membership model and welcomed all alumni as members without dues. We are over, absolutely, yes. We are over 27,000 strong worldwide and the power of our network grows stronger each day, we magnify each other's possibilities. I will say, however, that the thing that excites me the most is the students, the graduate and undergraduate students on campus, their cone of future possibilities in front of each one of them 
is truly thrilling. Today's surf lecture winners, graduate student posters, and spotlight talks are not to be missed. Give yourselves the opportunity to hear from these current students and imagine the future possibilities that lie in front of them. The announcement for the first ever seminar day said, and I quote, here's something you won't want to miss, an opportunity that thousands of rank outsiders would jump at. We hope to give you more information in a short space of time than you could obtain in weeks of study otherwise, and at the same time, make it so interesting that you won't want to miss a single session. This is absolutely still true today. Now I'll close by paraphrasing Henry Ford who said, I am looking for a lot of people who have an infinite capacity to not know what can't be done. And then as Emily Dickinson said, finite to fail, infinite to venture. That, my friends, is Caltech. Thank you for being part of this special tradition of infinite possibilities. As we enjoy spending this weekend reconnecting with Caltech, with each other, and with these remarkable speakers, I wish you all good fortune. Thank you for being here. Thank you for remaining connected to and supportive of Caltech, and especially supportive of each other. It is now my honor to introduce Caltech's president, Thomas F. Rosenbaum, the Sonia and William David Al Presidential Chair and Professor of Physics. President Rosenbaum. <laughs> 